Nope is what appears to be the new Alien movie from writer-director Jordan Peele, the man who directed us. Before I get into this trailer, there's one thing also that I want to look at, which is the thumbnail. Now, the thumbnail shows kind of like this dark cloud with this ribbon with the flags hanging down. And just remember that because when we go through the trailer, there's going to be something that I pause on and we're going to come back to this. Did you know that the very first assembly of photographs to create a motion picture was a two-second clip of a black man on a horse? Yes, I did. And fun fact, the reason that they created this video of the horse is because they wanted to see if there's ever a point where the horse has zero feet on the ground like this. Obviously it does. There's a little science experiment. They wanted to be able to figure out the mechanics of how a horse actually runs. And that man is my great great grandfather. But that's why back at the Haywood Ranch as the only black owned horse trainers in Hollywood, we like to say since the moment pitches could move, we had skin in the game. So the way that this all goes down with the power going out and everything going quiet reminds me of a couple movies. First one is Close Encounters of the Third Kind by Steven Spielberg, which is obviously also an alien movie. In that movie, when the aliens come around, we see the inside of a house and this woman has a child and all of the toys go crazy and stuff. And then the power goes out. So the way that the scene plays out in the trailer very much reminds me of that. And the other one is a Western movie. I do not remember the name of it, but I do remember just the idea that you can hear the crickets chirping. even the crickets stop. It's an interesting detail. And the way you just see these lights in the background here is also very reminiscent of the ships from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I don't know if there's some inspiration that Jordan Peele took from that movie. <laughs> By the way, is it just me or is there almost kind of like a face up in the cloud right here? Maybe I'm looking too much into this. But again, remember we looked at that thumbnail image with the spaceship that appeared to be a cloud. And now we have very strangely shaped clouds in the sky right here. I'm guessing this character is going to be like that character that delivers information to the audience. We can see that he's wearing this shirt that says Earth. There's a picture of different phases of the moon and what appears to be a lunar eclipse. And I'm guessing that ties somehow into the alien invasion. There's also a Fry's Electronics truck right here. So he's probably a nerd visiting uh, like on a house call to go do some tech support or something like that. And then we're showing this shot of a car dealership. We see the main concept of this movie is the main character works on this Hollywood horse ranch and cars are kind of like the new horses, right? Like the, the cars run on horsepower. And of course we see these wacky inflatable arm guys which appear all over the desert. There's probably some kind of metaphor that Jordan Peele is trying to make about like the old Hollywood versus the new Hollywood horses versus cars. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't seen the movie. I'm just trying to analyze based off the trailer. And then we see this movie takes place in the desert and we see this alien merchandise. It looks to be part of the same theater that they're viewing the horse show or whatever at. Book your next experience here. There are all of these alien toys. And then I'm going to go back to this. So this is like the amphitheater where this horse show or whatever it goes on. And I just wanted to point this out because this guy has a Universal Monsters shirt. You can see the creature from the Black Lagoon right here. What appears to be like Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster, Dracula and the Wolfman. And Jordan Peele has always in his movies, or I mean, at least in his last movie, he always liked to make references back to the classic Universal horror films. Obviously, this movie is being produced by Universal Pictures. In the last movie, there was that little boy who had the Wolfman mask that he had on all the time. And now we see this Universal Monsters lineup t-shirt. Just wanted to point that out. That's a really cool detail, by the way. Everybody's looking up and the motion censored security camera is also looking up to potentially capture footage of this alien. And then we get a glimpse at the ship, a disc-like thing in the clouds back here. And if you pay attention right here over this wall, you'll get a little glimpse of what the alien possibly looks like, maybe the top of the head. Kind of gives me flashbacks to when we barely see the alien in signs. And you'll notice that this alien looks very similar to the alien merchandise being sold in the desert. I don't know if that scene takes place before or after this scene, but we will find out. All right, and then I just wanted to pause it right here and see like what is potentially the alien ship, which is like this disc shaped thing, but it also has, we see these flags hanging down from the bottom, just like the cloud in the trailer. It kind of has like this mist around it as if it can disguise itself in clouds, which is kind of a cool concept. If the alien ship can camouflage itself into the clouds, I think that's something that I've seen before in a sci-fi or a horror movie. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah! 
And of course, someone's got to get air yeeted. It wouldn't be a modern horror movie if someone didn't get air yeeted. All right, nope, 722. Let me know if there's anything else that you noticed in the nope trailer. And remember to subscribe to CZ's World Slices or I will slice your face off. Uh, <laughs> bye.